So today we're going to be working on the bedroom area. Um, I love the look of shiplap walls and I wanted to put them somewhere in this camper. So I actually found shiplap wallpaper and I thought it would be really cool to test this out and see how it performs and how it looks. It actually looks like real shiplap. From what I've seen on the reviews, it looks really gorgeous and looks like real shiplap. I'm just curious of what it actually looks like in person. I feel like this is perfect for campers because obviously shiplap would be heavy, especially if you do real shiplap as opposed to a faux shiplap like a paneling or maybe plywood, something like that. So this is just a wallpaper version of it. So I bought this at Target for $34.99. I bought three rolls. I'm really hoping it's enough. I feel like I always have issues with wallpaper and I end up not having enough. So I'm just praying that I got the right amount because it's so disappointing when you don't have enough. Um, so what I've read on the reviews about this wallpaper is that whenever you order it, they always send you different lot numbers, which is very true. Every single roll I got is a different lot number, which means that the design probably won't match up. So I actually took these out and um, I rolled them out side by side. Um, so basically the gapping matches perfectly, which is great, but what doesn't match up is the wood grain on this. These um, papers are kind of textured um, with like a gray, graining going through it and that most likely is not going to match up on all of the wallpaper. I'm going to take the ship up out and show you guys what it looks like and show you the space that we're working with and the prep that we need to do for it and then we can get started. It is time to start our journey with this wallpaper and it was a little bit of a rough journey for me but to start off with all of the prep work I am priming the walls um, if you guys are new to my channel, these walls needed to be taken out and we put in new walls because we had some water damage. So here's a little before and an after. So I'm just lightly priming these. And um, this one wall right here is the only original wall that we are actually able to keep in the camper. So here is what it looks like all prepped. But as you guys can see, this original wall is quite a disaster. There's lots of holes in it and there's some lines and cracks that need to be filled in. So I'm just taking my handy dandy wood putty and filling all of that in. If you guys don't have a camper, um, but you're doing this at home, your walls probably won't need quite as a drastic um, prep work as this one does, but they still may need a little bit of work. You're probably gonna wanna make sure that you sand your walls and just have them prepped really well. And um, you do wanna make sure that you're not putting your um, wallpaper on fresh paint. So you wanna let this sit. And also if you do have painted walls, make sure that you sand them. So we were just doing a little bit of last minute prep work. This looks so scary. Please do not do this at home. But we had to cut out that electrical box you guys can see right there. I was gonna start it with the line at the top. But then the issue is because this is different heights, mm -hmm. it wouldn't all line up. So like if I have the extra space here, on some parts it might have this much extra space, or this much maybe smaller, but it's not as noticeable because all the lines will still be straight. Yeah. Okay. Okay, turtles. I'm out of breath. Okay, turtles. So I thought I would leave that in there because I felt like I kind of explained everything I wanted to, so I didn't really feel like I should do a voiceover for it. But basically, um, when you're doing this in a camper or even an old house, the walls might not be perfectly straight and um, there might be just little kinks to it that would make this wallpaper a little bit harder to do. So especially with a lined wallpaper like this, you wanna make sure that everything looks as straight as possible. So the first thing I really liked about this wallpaper was it was very easy to unpeel from the backing. I've used peel and stick wallpapers before that are a nightmare to try to unpeel from the backing. And it just made the process really, really not fun. So this was awesome. Um, as you guys can see, I have peeled and unpeeled it um, just to try to get it perfect. One thing about peel and stick wallpaper is that this is what it's so great at. You don't have to 
um, stick it wherever you stick it. <laughs> you can literally just peel and stick it as many times as you need. One of my friends did her bathroom and she realized that she did the pattern wrong. So probably like a week later, I went over to her house and I unpeeled all the wallpaper with her. And then we reused that wallpaper and put it back up and we had no issues. So that's why this stuff is just amazing. But as you guys can see here, I'm just unpeeling the backing little by little and then using my hands to make sure everything is smooth. You can use a squeegee type of tool, um, but I just find that your hand works really well. So I'm just taking a blade and cutting off any of the excess. Putting up the first piece of wallpaper is always the scariest, but after that, it's pretty easy from there. You just match up the patterns and cut it and peel it and put it up. So right now, I just am on the second piece. I felt a lot better. This wall was so easy to do. It was like such a breeze and it just felt so great doing it. The other two walls were an absolute nightmare. I feel like they aged me so much. Um, you guys will see my little breakdown um, probably at some point in this video. But anyway, so now for the corners, this is the part that I despise. I hate corners of wallpaper, especially in an angled camper. So I just cut this sheet in half because we didn't need the full sheet. You will have some excess pieces of your wallpaper and make sure you save those even if the backing is off of them. And of course my tripod fell over as I was filming this, but you will be able to use those excess sheets for touch-ups and things like that. So um, right here, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the wallpaper was looking a little rough, but I just kept rubbing it and it all smoothed out and all of the excess um, in the corner right there, I'm just going to cut that off because once we got to the corner, it I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it takes the line and puts it at a slant so it doesn't look straight anymore. The one amazing thing about this peel and stick wallpaper um, is that it was super forgiving and I, you guys will see it during this video, I literally just would take tiny pieces of this wallpaper to patch things up and you can't even tell. Um, I kind of did it in that little section right there. So here I had a little issue. The primer peeled up. I'm not really sure why I did that. I've never had that issue before. But um, like I said, this wallpaper is super forgiving and if you layer it on top of each other, you won't even be able to tell. So here you guys can see some of the paint through it. So I just took another piece of this shiplap wallpaper and just stuck it right on top and it blended in so beautifully. One tip that I do wanna say is that when you are putting um, the wallpaper up, you probably should overlap them ever so slightly just so that the lines um, add up really well. So I'm now on my last wall. At this point, it was like 7.30 and I was about to have a meltdown because these corners were just really not working out for me, as you guys can tell. I didn't even realize Connor was filming this part, but I'm glad he did so you guys can see the reality of it. Um, this one piece I probably peeled and unpeeled so many times, um, but I did find a solution for the corners, which I will show you guys. The reason why these corners were so hard compared to other um, wallpaper prints is because it's a straight line and these walls just don't want to have a straight line. So as you guys can see here, there are gaps of just empty walls. So. What I was originally gonna do is I was just gonna try to take a big piece of this and stick it on, but then I realized again, it would end up getting slanted. So I have this little piece of scrap, which is why I said it's really good to keep all of your scrap wallpaper. So I am literally cutting this out section by section and just putting it up to the wall. Um, this wallpaper, like I said, is so forgiving. You can't tell at all that there is small tiny sections of wallpaper. And I always say when you're putting wallpaper up, don't stress yourself out. If there's a corner that gets messed up, you can always throw a plant there or a pendant light or anything like that. There's always a solution to it. So 
Um, some pieces like this one, um, it didn't, the lines like weren't adding up as one solid piece. So I just cut it in half and then reapplied it and it worked out perfectly. You guys can even just cut out the black stripe and just add that into an empty spot. I'm not really sure if that makes sense, but once you guys get into it, you guys will see. So now you guys can see that the lines all add up and everything looks great again. So now I'm just taking a little bit of Gorilla Glue on a Q-tip and I'm just going over some of the spots that feel like they could use a little extra stickiness. We did this in our bathroom. We had a feeling the wallpaper would probably um, unpeel after all of like the steam from showers and stuff. And about a month ago, it finally started to unpeel on one section and I just took a little bit of that Gorilla Glue and did exactly what I did here and we haven't had any issues with it since. So now that it is all done and the wallpaper is up, I'm just taking my blade and cutting off any of the excess. We still do have to add all of the trim to this area, but I just wanted to focus on the wallpaper for today. So now we're just putting all of the window casings back up and it's starting to look like a real room again. So here is the final result of the shiplap. It is absolutely stunning and so beautiful. I love how this came out. The amazing thing is, is that you can't tell the difference between the lot numbers when it's all lined up. The graining on this is so sporadic, so you can't tell at all. I am so excited about this and so happy. I love how it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys do try this out. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.